Okay, today we're going to create an image uh, with a glitch effect. And I call this project Veggie Slices, probably for obvious reasons by now. Uh, we are going to take the original images that we created just a few days back when you were asked to do your veggie still life photo shoot. We're going to take those, those original images and now we're going to use Photopea, the Photoshop equivalent, or maybe not so equivalent, but pretty darn close, the web-based program Photopea to create this glitch effect in our veggies. All right, um, because I thought it was pretty clever, because vegetables are sliced up a lot, especially to put on maybe an appetizer platter or maybe on a sandwich. Um, we, we're gonna call the project Veggie Slices and we're gonna create this really neat glitch effect. And we're gonna do that in Photopea. Just so you know, a glitch effect is something that happens when a computer or a television screen or a monitor malfunctions and you get this really cool kind of glitchy pattern that starts to happen. So we're gonna combine this idea with our vegetables to create a an abstract kind of a, a modern abstract contemporary style image that is aesthetically really interesting to look at all right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to just Chrome Google Chrome all right this is not a, a downloaded software program it's not an app this is a web-based program called Photopea and we're gonna open that up it's gonna look a little bit different than Photoshop, not quite as sophisticated, but you know what? It's pretty darn amazing that this is a free program and we have access to it. So we're gonna use this for now um, until we are able to get Photoshop for our entire class. Uh, this, is, this will suffice for now. All right, so what we're gonna to have to do is I have to go to File and I have to open. I, as far as I know, I can't just drag uh, my photograph on top of you know the doc like we used to because like I said this is not a downloaded software program I'm gonna go grab a photograph that I call veggies that's the pepper photograph that you just you just saw the end result but I'm gonna show you how I got there and that might be a, it might be a little bit easier for you to understand now this is all experimentation you should have a lot of fun and you have you have a lot of freedom while you're doing this project. If you just follow some guidelines, uh, then you too will be able to achieve that glitch effect, but I want you to have a lot of fun while you're doing this. Our toolbar is a little bit limited over here in Photopea, but nevertheless, you have plenty of tools to work with. And as you'll notice, uh, the, op the, the layer options are still very similar. So what we're gonna do is you see right here, we have our background image in place. All right, I'm gonna, drag the background image over the layer icon, same layer icon as we were used to working on before, and now you'll see I have a duplicate layer. If I turn the visibility off, you're not gonna notice any difference because if I turn the visibility of layer one off, the background image is still there, all right? But what's actually occurred is I have a copy on top of my background image. All right, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just proceed to my rectangle marquee tool and I'm going to start having some fun with um, copying and pasting strips down onto back down onto my image, and they will it will formulate different layers as I do this. So watch here. I've selected a chunk of my image. Apple C is to copy. Apple V is to paste. Now you don't notice that anything happened, but you'll notice in the layer palette. A layer appeared and that is the strip that I just copy and pasted. If I go and I grab the move tool, the little crisscross on the very top of the toolbar, look it, you will see that that layer now moves. So I'm going to take that layer and just shift it over a tad. All right, so I create this kind of this, this movement in my image. Now I have to go back to layer one in order to copy and paste again because that's where my information is. This time, and I'm purposely grabbing some black from either sides of my, my strip. I'm going to take a really teeny thin strip. Apple C, Apple V, and I'm going to cut myself another little strip and move that over. And if I'm, I'm being careful as to where the black is running into my peppers, like where my, where my placement is. 
So I want to I want to try to create that really some real, real interesting movement. I like that negative space that's like happening right here. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back to layer one again. And I'm going to proceed down my pepper. Come apple C, apple V. And I'm going to do some shifting. Now you'll notice there's a black piece right here. And when I move that over into the middle of my pepper, that didn't look right to me. So I'm going to keep actually the pattern going on on this side of the pepper and move down because it looks like a little chunk was taken out of this pepper. It actually just looks like this strip was kind of shoved over uh, to the left and it almost looks natural as to what's happening there. So now I'm going to go back to layer one and I'm going to go down my pepper, so on and so forth. Now I can experiment apple C, apple B with some other options as well. So here's an example. So you see this strip um, that I've now copy and pasted right here? If in fact I wanna go back and work on this strip up here, I go to my move tool, I can right click and it tells me that that's layer three. And you know what, it is. So what I did was I grabbed my move tool, I hovered over the strip that I was interested in working on, I right click and it told me which layer I was working on. So it does have some of the capability that Photoshop does, which is awesome. All right, but look at what I'm going to decide to do now. What I what I think I might do is I might go and take the rectangle marquee tool. I might take a little tiny strip right there. And instead of copying and pasting this time, I'm going to hit the delete key and see what happens when I actually delete a portion of that of that strip of that layer three. And what you're going to notice is, is that now I'm seeing the background photo the photo that's on the background, because I literally just deleted a little chunk right from that strip. All right, I'm gonna mosey down to this portion of my my photograph. Now I'm back on layer one, where the, the three peppers originally were, and I'm gonna continue on, Command C, Command B, and I'm gonna continue to drag my images a little bit, all right, or my strips a little bit. I'm gonna see what happens when I go down here. This this is gonna be an interesting, because this is where these two peppers meet. Command C, Command V. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, pretty cool. All right, and I'm liking what's going on here. Some, some really fun stuff is starting to happen. I'm gonna hop down a little bit. Command C, Command V, a little lower here. Let's see what happens. Let's see for the heck of it. What happens if I take, if I delete a portion out of that? Look at, look at what just happened. That's really neat. I'm seeing, what I'm seeing is what's in that background image. And I decide I like that. Now, once I delete that strip, um, I can't get that strip back. All right. If I were to put a mask into that strip and fill it with white or black, I could get it back. That would probably be the smarter thing right now, but I like what just happened, so I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna go back to layer one, and I think there's just a little too much weight up here in this part of my pepper. So I, I'm I'm playing around with, with balance, with aesthetics. I'm really experimenting. I know just about as much of, as you do at this point, what this is gonna end up looking like, but all I can tell you is that I really think it's pretty neat. All right, so I like I like the way it's looking. I think that the experimentation and the mystery of it is a lot of fun. Um, you know what I'm gonna do with this? I wanna take a, I wanna have like a bigger chunk of the black. I took the rectangle marquee back on layer one. Apple C, Apple V. I'm gonna move that black strip. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse the red and the black right there. That's pretty neat. I could also take that little strip, you guys, and go. Oh, I guess I cannot. I just went Apple or Command T 
and apparently that is not cool in Photopea. I couldn't, I can't transform like that. So there has to be another way to transform this layer that I'm on right here, this active layer. So let's see. Transform, here it is, under image transform, but this is image transform. This isn't my layer. All right, but you know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see what happens. Nope, that actually flipped my entire image. So let's see if I can, I can step backward and I'm learning with, with you guys as, as we're learning this right here. Hey, and I just saw, I just spotted something. I'm here on layer three. I spotted, I think what I need, I need transform, free transform. There we go. There we go, peeps. That's exactly what I needed. I need to free transform this. I'm going to hit the return key. And this allows me, this allows me to flip just that layer. Okay. Um, and what was happening, I wanted to just play around with flipping this, this one, one strip around. All right. So no Apple T. We've learned that today. No Apple or Command T because that brings me to an, that takes me right out of the photo P program. All right, I'm gonna continue onward. Um, but that was pretty cool, I'm glad I learned that. All right, now I'm gonna Apple C, copy again. Apple V, okay, to paste. I'm gonna jog this around just a little bit. Until I get something that I like here. Okay, um, not, not too crazy about this here. Uh, I think it's because of the different reds. Actually, that's kind of nice. I kind of like that right there. All right, I'm gonna go back here. Oh, oh. Apple C, Apple V, and I'm getting this really cool glitchy look to my pepper. Um, again, it bugs me a little bit when that, uh, it bugs me when the black is right in the middle of my red there. I, I don't love that look, personally. Okay, go back down. And again, you don't have to grab Apple C, Apple V. You don't have to grab the whole strip like I'm grabbing. Okay, and I like it when the black, see the black kind of went in here. You might like that look. I like it better like this. I love this shape. I think that's really neat. Um, by the way, so here's the strip. Now, um, this is when you might want to go back to the free transform tool. And look, you could decrease the width of that strip. Um, and you can play around with that as well. Okay, that was, that was under free tr transform. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that strip. I'm going to take... A random little chunk out of that side. Oh, and it leaves that little bit of green. I'm going to take a random chunk out of this side. And that leaves a little bit of that. In fact, I'm going to go in. I'm going to be daring here. And I'm going to take a really tiny strip out. That gives me another cool little dimension. Say I want to go back to this strip right here and work on this. If you recall, I go grab the move tool. Right click. Tells me it's layer three. Look at it is. I'm going to go into layer three. I'm going to take a little glitch out of there. I'm going to take a little glitch out of here. Boom, boom. All right, pretty cool. I've decided I'm going to go back up to this strip over here. And I'm going to take a teeny strip out of that as well. And this is, this is coming really cool. I'm really liking this. Now I'm going to go back here. I think I need a little balance maybe here. We'll see Apple V. Copying and pasting. Okay. A little bit of a glitch there. And I think I'm gonna go Apple C Apple V here. I'm gonna I'm really getting the hang now of what I'm liking and what I'm not liking. Going back to layer one. That is C, Apple, V. 
Okay, and then one last little, one last little bit. Right down here on the bottom, I might take that, apple C, apple V, move that just a little bit, a little off center. Yeah. Okay. Whew, I have something that I really like. Something really neat is going on here. This veggie slices project is pretty darn creative. It's pretty stimulating, um, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I like looking at it. It's fun. It's cool. And I have a feeling that our audience is going to really love this as well. It's really different. All right. Now what I have to do, I, oops, I have to click on my background window, make sure I'm in my program here. If you noticed, I accidentally just jumped up to the Chrome menu because I'm used to that. But right here, I'm going to go File, and I'm going to Save as a PSD. First thing I'm going to do is Save as a PSD. A little bit slower than Photoshop. All right, and here I have my, veggie, my Veggies PSD, Photoshop document, which is really great. Now I'm going to go File, and I'm going to Export as a JPEG. Okay, this takes a little bit. Looks a little tiny bit funny. Um, if you can, increase the quality, attach the metadata, and hit save. Okay? Again, this takes a minute. Keep both. Okay, I'm just for right now going to minimize this. There was my old, here's my brand new image that we created together and as you see we have one successful image right in front of us all right that we created using photo p um the uh web-based version of photoshop and uh i'm really happy with what we got hopefully you guys are too all right get to work it's time to slice up those veggies